Oh. Hey, what do you need? <sighs> I just wanted to tell you that, and no offense, but you are literally the worst person I've ever met. Okay, how could I not take offense at that? How's everything going in here? Nick just waltzed in here and told me I'm the worst person he's ever met. Well, that's horrible. But accurate. Mom! There are some phrases and words that I catch myself using a lot throughout my day. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. There are the obvious ones that almost everyone I know uses at some point, and these words I like to call crutch words. These are those words you use when you don't know what else to say, like... Uh... You know... What's it called? I just used all of them in the same sentence, and I'll bet some of you didn't even notice. In fact, a lot of people don't realize when they themselves use these words. They just keep on moving forward as if they didn't say them at all. Which isn't good, because the more crutch words and unnecessary words you use in a sentence, the more it distracts and waters down the point that you're trying to make. I've always been someone who uses a lot of these words, and it's kind of a problem. There are even some memories I have of people pointing out how often I use like and uh, and for whatever reason these memories just stick out to me. For example, in elementary school, and when I say elementary school, I mean back when I lived in Pennsylvania, which for those of you who don't stalk me, I did. One day, after answering a question in class, I don't remember what the question actually was, but we'll say it was something like, What is the reaction when you mix together beryllium iodide and strontium? And, like any normal kid, I answered, like, when you mix together beryllium iodide and strontium, you get- oh, oh wait, I'm supposed to be in elementary school, my voice should be higher. Like, when you mix together beryllium iodide and strontium sulfate, you get something like, uh, beryllium sulfate and strontium iodide. After my amazing display of knowledge, one of my friends comes up to me and he goes, Do you realize how often you use the word like? And I answered as any kid my age would have answered. No, I don't. But the more I thought about it, the more my small child brain started to have an existential crisis. Because the more I thought about it, I realized I do say like a lot. I then went down a dark path filled with sadness and regret, never quite knowing where I was going or where I would end up. Aside from just words, there are also these phrases and starts to sentences that I find myself using a lot, like, no offense and, well, I guess. As some of you might know, I do Tang Sudo, which is a martial art. I know, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> My instructor for Tang Sudo is constantly pushing us to do better both in and out of class. And one of the things my instructor has always been fairly strict on is these filler words, or crutch words. He tells people off for saying things like um and er because he knows it makes those sentences less meaningful. So, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be trying harder to stop using these dumb crutch words. Because it just makes my sentences dull and repetitive. And you know what else is repetitive? Me asking you to hit that subscribe button. Because according to YouTube statistics, Pretty much everyone is subscribed to my channel, so if you're not, you're kind of weird. Also, according to YouTube statistics, there isn't enough demographic data to show what percent of my viewers is female, so if you want to help me get that up and running again, then you should go watch some more of my videos. That'd be great. But anyways, that's all for now, so signing off, I am Samuel. Go find the fun in your everything.